Welcome to YQ Academy Java Fundamentals Interview Questions and Answers 1. What are operators and expressions in Java? Operators and expressions are fundamental components of the language that allow you to perform various computations, manipulate values, and make decisions based on conditions. Operators are symbols or characters that perform specific operations on one or more operands' values, variables, or expressions. Examples of operators in Java include plus addition, subtraction, asterisk multiplication, slash division, percent modulus, greater than greater than, less than less than, and and logical and logical or equal assignment, equal equal equality comparison plus plus increment, decrement, etc. Expressions are combinations of operators, operands, and variables that produce a value. Examples of expressions in Java 1. Arithmetic expression int result equal to plus 3 asterisk 4. 2. Relational expression boolean is greater equal x greater than y. 3. Assignment expression int equal 10. 4. Method invocation expression system dot out dot print on opening bracket hello world. 5. Conditional expression in max equal x greater than y. x y. 2. What are bitwise operators in Java? Bitwise operators are used to manipulate individual bits of integer type operands. They perform operations at the binary level treating operands as sequence of bits rather than whole numbers. For example, bitwise and and performs a bitwise and operation between the corresponding bits of two operands. Sets each bit to 1 if both corresponding bits are 1. Otherwise, sets it to 0. Example int result equal a and b bitwise or performs a bitwise or operation between the corresponding bits of two operands. Sets each bit to 1 if at least one of the corresponding bits is 1. Otherwise, sets it to 0. Example int result equal a vertical bar b. 3. What are ternary operators in Java? Ternary operator, also known as the conditional operator, is a concise way to write conditional expressions. It is the only operator in Java that takes three operands. In other words, the ternary operator allows you to choose between two expressions based on a condition. If the condition is true, EXPISSION1 is selected otherwise, EXPISSION2 is selected. In this example, the condition num% to equal equal zero checks if num is divisible by two, that is, if it's an even number. If the condition is true, the expression even is selected as the value of message otherwise, the expression odd is selected. The selected value is then printed, resulting in either even or odd being displayed based on the value of numbers. 4. Explain the concept of operator precedence and associativity in Java. Operator precedence and associativity determine the order in which operators are evaluated within an expression. Operator precedence defines the priority of operators in an expression. When multiple operators are present in an expression, operators with higher precedence are evaluated before those with lower precedence. For example, in the expression a plus b asterisk c, the asterisk operator has higher precedence than the plus operator. So, b asterisk c is evaluate first, and the result is then added to a. Operator associativity determines the order in which operators with the same precedence are evaluate. Operator associativity is relevant when multiple operators with the same precedence appear in an expression. Operators with left associativity are equal, plus and and an operators while right is exponentiation asterisk asterisk. 5. Discuss the concept of operator overloading in Java. 
explain how it allows you to redefine the behavior of operators for custom classes and provide an example. Operator overloading in Java refers to the ability to redefine the behavior of operators for custom classes. It allows you to give a new meaning to an operator when applied to objects of your class, enabling more intuitive and expressive code. In Java, you can overload certain operators, such as arithmetic operators plus, asterisk, slash, relational operators less than, greater than, less than equal, greater than equal, 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 and others. Operators like and and, equal, and, dot operator cannot be overloaded. In this example, we define a method operator plus that takes another complex number object as a parameter and returns a new complex number object. This method adds the real and imaginary parts of the two complex numbers and creates a new complex number with the result. With the plus operator overloaded, we can now add two complex number objects using the operator directly. In this code snippet, the plus operator is used to add num1 and num2, and the result is stored in the sum variable. The overloaded operator plus method is invoked, performing the addition based on the custom logic defined in the class. 6. Explain the concept of shut circuit evaluation in Java. Provide an example that demonstrates how shut circuiting affects the evaluation of logical expressions. Shut circuit evaluation, also known as shut circuiting, is a behavior in Java where the evaluation of a logical expression stops as soon as the result can be determined. This occurs when the value of the expression can be inferred without evaluating the remaining operands or sub-expressions. Shut circuiting can improve performance and prevent unnecessary evaluations in certain scenarios. For example, in this example, the expression b equals zero and and a slash b greater than 10 involves both the logical and and an operator and the division operation slash. However, due to shut circuit evaluation, the division operation is not executed when b is zero because the left operand of and and is false and the overall result will be false regardless of the right operand's value. This prevents a potential arithmetic skpt on that could occur when dividing by zero.